Welcome, Hawks, to our Glee competition pregame show. I am your host, Drew Lutz, once again joined by five fantastic panelists. Uh, to get started with some general information, each house is allowed no more than 30 students to participate. Each house can only pick one song from their selected movie. Uh, and mashups or remixes are not allowed, so some more strict rules than the last few years. We'll see how that turns out. Um, and finally, there's no practice the day of the event, which is something that's different from previous years. So all the practice is done in days leading up to it. So all our houses have been practicing over the course of the last month or so. Um, and uh, without any further ado, I'll pass it over to Chris to kind of give us some insight on what to expect out of each house. Yeah. So talking about Springs, Springs will be performing Friend Like Me from Aladdin. Um, they plan to have an undisclosed lead performer, you know, see what the model, but. Uh, he's going to act as the genie uh, while incorporating background dancers to perform in support of him. And you know, the strength of this performance really rests um, with Monica Merrill. She's been leading our choreography, she's amazing, she's a cheerleader and dancer, and I think that her skills are really going to set Springs apart. Uh, Aquinas will be, be performing Make a Man Out of You from Mulan led by Lucy Giesler and Profes Carubias, with the choreography by Emerson Summers. Aquinas will be Aquinas will be a house to pay attention to. The plan of they plan on putting a house twist on the traditional plot of the song, which could pay off for them in the eyes of the judges. Victory House will be performing Zero the Hero for Star and Senior Pageant. As Hercules. Various students will also be helping orchestrate choreography under the supervision of Mr. Money Penny. Mr. Money Penny did well while directing the Christmas Carol competition and hopefully it carries over to Queen. Sacred Heart will be performing Where You Are by, uh, from Moana. This performance is starring Matthew Sheridan, Keegan Eva McKnight. Uh, Sacred Heart has been putting in the work with Miss Tron almost every single day. Uh, the shift from Miss Verity to Miss Tron has been smooth and easy. Um, I definitely think we have a good chance. So, Rosary this year, are we are going to be performing Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast. First of all, I love that movie. I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. Our big strength for this competition is definitely our planned choreography by Miss Rush. Her experience as a cheerleader coach will really help guide it in the right direction, I think. And also, we're going to be adding a twist in our performance. And we're going to be including the spoiler alert, six pillars of Hartley, which all of us know already. So, I don't need to say that because you should know them. Be our guest and root for Rosary. Lastly, Whirly. Uh, so Whirly will be performing Cruisin' for a Bruisin' from the Teen Beach movie. Uh, one thing that might set Whirly apart from the rest of the competition is they hope to incorporate like some teacher participation. So just think of all the familiar faces you see in Whirly throughout all of your classes. They might make some guest appearance in their competition. Um, and they hope to give a throwback vibe to like the 50s or 60s of their performance. Um, so that should be cool. Um, and then without any further ado, I'll kind of start off our predictions. Um, I'm going to go with my home house, Sacred Heart. I feel like Mrs. Chun is really taking uh, taking the reins with this, and I think she's going to knock it out of the park. Um, yeah, so I'll pass it over to uh I think that Aquinas is actually going to take it this year, because not only do we have Professor Karubias and Mr. Giesler, but we also have a, a, a long-term sub for Mr. Giesler, Mr. Williams, and I feel like his input would also help a lot in the production part of it. And I've been in a couple of the meetings and everybody's great. They all have enthusiasm. They're all they're all hyped up. I think they're ready for this. I think they got this in the back. I think I gotta go with my home house again. I gotta go with Victory. I think Miss Money Penny did really well directing the Christmas Carol competition. Yeah. I believe we got third. I would love to say I'm rooting. I am rooting for 
Rosary. I think we really got this, but my personal favorite out of all the songs is definitely Make a Man of You. So I'm, I, in a bittersweet way, I kind of hope that you guys win because I love that song so much. Um, you know, Springs previously was robbed with Christmas Carol. Mr. Toy, I, I don't even know what to say about that one. But with this, we're definitely going to take first place. I feel like with the leadership of Mr. Toy and Ronnie Camaro and a lot of uh, Andrews is helping out as well. Um, really going to help us win, you know, our dance moves, the genie, it's all going to come together perfectly. And you guys are due. So. Wow. That's, that's a, we're in last place right now, but after this, we're going to be making our way up the chain no. to take home the house that we need. I mean, it's really anyone's game, honestly. Right. Victory. So. This is the start of the dice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the start of the dice. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, thank you all so much for spending time with us today as the school year comes to a close and each house day becomes more and more important for a chance the house cup. The competition gets fiercer, and I'm really looking forward to what everyone is going to do. Thank you guys. Thank you. See ya.